Never worry about the safety of your Minecraft base again with this automatic missile defense turret. Automatically lock onto nearby mobs and blow them away. Doesn't matter if they can run, fly, or teleport. The only entity that's safe to approach is the owner. Alright, to begin everybody, I have a netherite block that I put down. That's going to be the base of our turret. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to get the coordinates for right on top of it. And I'm going to summon in an armor stand. The command I'm using is going to be slash summon armor stand turret. That's going to name it turret. And then my coordinates are 18, negative 59, negative 31. And that's going to be the spot right on top of the block. So now I have an armor stand sitting here named turret. Now I want to add some armor to it. I'm going to put the chest plate on, I'm going to put leggings on, boots, and I'm going to give it a Steve head. So when I'm done, it should look something like this. And now I also want to give it a dispenser in its hand. Grabbed herself a dispenser and I put it in its hand. And I'm thinking that I might change the position. Perfect, I think that's going to work out. I want it to be holding the dispenser outward. So now we can get started on our command block portion. All right, we're gonna be starting off with our targeting and launch portion. And that's gonna start right here with this repeating command block that's always active. It's gonna be slash execute as at E name equals turret. So at the armor stands named turret at S run TP. So as the turret at the turret, and then we're gonna run teleport and we're gonna teleport that turret into the same location that it's in facing at E, so any entity, C equals 1, so it's going to be the closest one, R equals 20, within a range of 20 blocks. We're not looking for armor stand, so that's exclamation point armor stand. Not looking for items, got the exclamation point item. Same thing here, exclamation point XP orb. Tag equals exclamation point owner. So if you've given yourself the tag owner, you will also not be targeted. Type equals exclamation point arrow. Type equals exclamation point thrown trident. What this all means is that if there's any entity that enters into that 20 blocks, that's not junk laying on the ground yourself or any projectiles that might get shot in there, this turret is going to target them. It's going to look at them. Now from here, I have a couple chain command blocks, but I also have a comp writer heading off over here. I'm going to take a look at this one first. This one is repeating, needs redstone. And the command here is slash execute at, at E name equals turret, run structure load bullet, carrot, carrot, four, carrot. So at this point in time, we don't have a structure saved as bullet yet, but this is going to summon in that structure at the armor stands location over there. So in order to save that, we're going to need to get a structure block. Um, just like with a command block, you're going to have to use a give command to get the structure block. Give at s structure underscore block. Once you get that, go ahead and just place it down on the ground. And we're going to click to the inside. And I want you to change the settings. I want your X, Y, and Z to all be one. And then I want you to adjust the Y offset from negative one to positive one. Also, do make sure that you have your bounding box showing. It's going to be this clear, transparent box that looks like this. So that when you exit, you'll see that the block above the structure block is being highlighted. That is the sensor area where it's going to be looking for items to save. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to go to um, the buttons in your creative menu. And we're going to get a stone button. We're going to take that over here to this anvil and we're going to rename this. I used bullet for mine. You could use missile, whatever you want to do. Now we're going to take that bullet and I'm going to drop it down on the structure block. And I'm going to save it as bullet. So now when an entity enters into the area around this armor stand, the armor stand is going to target onto it. It's going to turn and look at it. And it's going to summon in the projectile. This chain command block here that's connected is going to be chain unconditional, always active. That's going to be slash execute as at E name equals bullet. So at the bullet we just saved. At at S. So at the bullet. And we're going to run teleport. We're going to take that bullet and we're going to teleport it. Carrot. Carrot point five. Carrot two. So that's going to teleport it generally forward in the direction that it's facing with a little up attitude. Because for some reason, 
the button tends to want to bury itself in the ground. And then that's going to be facing at E, R equals 20, C equals 1. So it's going to be facing any entity, the closest one within 20 blocks. But it's not looking for armor stamps, it's not looking for items, it's not looking for XP orbs, it's not looking for anybody that's tagged as the owner. It's not looking for arrows, and it's not looking for thrown tridents. And then the next one we have here, chain conditional, always active. We're doing slash execute at, at E, name equals bullet, run particle, Minecraft, basic flame particle, tilde, tilde, tilde. That's going to give the missile the fire trail that flies behind it. Now here, this is going to be what controls the hits when an entity gets hit. This is going to be repeating, unconditional, always active. And the command here for the first one is slash execute at, at E, name equals bullet, run damage. So we're going to damage, at the bullet's location, any entity that's range within range of four. So it's four blocks away from the bullet is. Not an item, not an armor stand, not an XP orb, not the owner, not an arrow, not a thrown trident. And it's going to damage them ten. It's going to be an entity attack, but the entity that's causing the attack is going to be at E, name equals turret. So when these missiles hit the mobs, the mobs are actually going to think that that turret is the reason why, and they will try to damage that turret. So if you run through here, and for example with a zombie chasing you, this is going to shoot the zombie, and that zombie is going to want to kill the turret instead of you. Chains to that, chain conditional always active. We're going to do slash execute at, at E, name equals bullet. If entity at E, R equals 4, and again, not item, not armor stands, not XP orb, not the owner. Run kill at E, name equals bullet. So if any entity gets within that range, it's going to damage them, and it's going to kill the bullet. It's going to get rid of it. Moving on down here, I have another repeating command block. This is going to be uh, special commands that are affecting the turret. Uh, so this one, repeating, always active. We're doing slash effect at E, name equals turret, invisibility, 10, 1, true. I'm doing invisibility just to hide the wood pieces of the turret because I didn't want any wood. Uh, if you don't mind, you don't have to do that. The next one, chain conditional, always active. I'm doing slash effect at E, name equals turret, regeneration, 10, 5, true. I want to make sure that it's constantly healing itself. And then chain conditional, always active. Slash effect at E, name equals turret, resistance, 10, 10, true. So it's got increased defense, and it heals itself. So even if I have mobs trying to attack it, it can handle itself. So now I'm going to pop over here, and this is the lifespan controller of the missile. If the missile doesn't hit, for example, uh, this is going to make sure that it gets destroyed so that I don't have an abundance of these just flying around. Um, this is going to be repeating, always active. And the first one is slash test for at E, name equals bullet. Here I have a comparator heading into an impulse command block, and this one's going to have a delay of 16 ticks, which is just under a second. And that command is slash kill at E, name equals bullet. And now I have a couple repeating command blocks here. It's going to help make the, uh, the, the turret and the missile more realistic. So this one here is going to control the sound, and this one creates the explosion. So for the sound, repeating, always active. I'm going to do slash execute at, at E, name equals bullet, run play sound, firework launch, at A, R equals 20. So at the bullet's position, any players that are nearby are going to hear the sound. So and even if you have your friends on with you, they're going to they're gonna hear it, okay? It's going to sound like a missile. And then this one here, the explosion, repeating, always active. We're doing slash execute at, at E, name equals bullet, if entity at E, R equals 5. So if any entity is within a range of 5 that's not an armor stand, it's not an item, it's not an XP orb, it's not the owner, it's going to run Particle Minecraft Large Explosion. So that's going to show an explosion where the missile hits. Now to become the owner, just do tag at S, add owner. And then to remove that tag, you just do slash tag at S, remove owner and when I do this that turret is going to target me and kill me in about two seconds and I was slain by turret what's even cooler is my automatic missile turret works great when combined with the secure eye scanner door you'll have the safest base in your minecraft world this is browncoat67 I'll catch you 
next time.